divine masculine and divine feminine exist within each of us, regardless of our physical form. They are the yin and yang, the sun and moon, the fire and water that shape our very essence. When these forces align in perfect harmony, magic happens. The divine masculine in his purest form becomes a beacon of strength, protection, and unwavering love for his divine feminine counterpart. As we delve deeper into these sacred expressions of love, we begin to see the profound alchemy that occurs when the divine masculine falls in love with the divine feminine. Let us explore the five sacred ways in which he expresses this love, each a testament to the depth of his devotion and the power of divine union. In the sacred union of twin flames, where the energies of the divine masculine and divine feminine merge into a harmonious whole, the divine masculine takes on the role of a guardian when he is truly in love. This role is not one of dominance or control, but of deep, unconditional care, much like a father who cherishes and protects his child. His love manifests in ways that go beyond the romantic, extending into the realms of nurturing and safeguarding your well-being. When the Divine Masculine is in love, he sees you as a precious soul, someone who deserves to be cherished, protected, and nurtured. This paternal instinct awakens within him, urging him to ensure that you are not only happy, but also healthy and whole. He becomes acutely aware of your needs, often before you even express them, and takes proactive steps to meet them. This care is holistic, encompassing your physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. On a physical level, you will notice how he pays attention to the smallest details concerning your health and comfort. Perhaps he reminds you to rest when you're overworking yourself or ensures that you're eating well. He may offer to help with tasks that seem mundane but are essential to your daily life, such as preparing meals or making sure you have everything you need. Emotionally, his care is evident in how he listens to you, not just with his ears, but with his heart. He senses when something is troubling you, even when you try to hide it. He doesn't need you to put on a brave face. He wants you to feel free to be vulnerable with him, knowing that he will hold space for your emotions without judgment. When you are sad or anxious, he is there to comfort you, offering a steady shoulder to lean on and a compassionate heart to confide in. Spiritually, the Divine Masculine's care extends into the realm of your soul's journey. He respects your spiritual path and supports your growth, even if it differs from his own. He understands that your spiritual well-being is just as important as your physical health, and he encourages you to pursue practices and beliefs that bring you peace and fulfillment. Whether it's through shared meditations, discussions about life's deeper meanings, or simply holding space for your spiritual practices, he is there to support you. This paternal care is also characterized by his willingness to make sacrifices for your sake. Just as a father would do anything to protect and provide for his child, the Divine Masculine in love is willing to put your needs above his own when necessary. His love for you is so deep that your happiness and well-being become integral to his own. When the Divine Masculine is deeply in love, he becomes a master alchemist, 
transforming the base metals of everyday interactions into the gold of profound connection through his unwavering patience and boundless kindness. His patience is like the steady flow of a river, carving through even the hardest stone, not through force, but through persistent, gentle action. When you're stubborn or closed off, his patience doesn't waver. Instead, like water finding its way through cracks, his love finds ways to reach you, softening your defenses over time. He understands that growth and healing have their own rhythms, and he honors your process without pushing or pulling. This patience is beautifully captured in the words of Pierre Taylor de Chardin. Above all, trust in the slow work of God. The Divine Masculine embodies this trust, understanding that love, like all divine creations, unfolds in its own perfect timing. He doesn't rush you or the relationship, but allows it to bloom naturally, providing constant nurturing along the way. His kindness sits not just in grand gestures, but in the small, everyday moments. A gentle word when you're frustrated, a comforting touch when you're sad, a genuine smile that reaches his eyes when he looks at you. This kindness is a balm for your soul, healing old wounds and nurturing your growth. Even when faced with your shadows, your fears, insecurities, or past traumas, his kindness doesn't falter. Instead, it becomes a light that helps you navigate these dark spaces within yourself. He meets your anger with compassion, your fear with reassurance, your doubt with unwavering belief in you. In doing so, he teaches you to be kinder to yourself, to view your own journey with the same compassion he offers you. This alchemy of patience and kindness creates a safe space for you to be authentically yourself. In his presence, you feel free to express all facets of your being, knowing that you will be met with understanding and love. Through his patience and kindness, he reflects back to you your own divinity. He sees beyond your current state to your highest potential, and his consistent love creates a nurturing environment for that potential to manifest. Like a skilled alchemist, he knows that transformation takes time and requires the right conditions. His patience provides the time and his kindness creates the conditions for your divine nature to fully emerge. When the Divine Masculine is truly in love with the Divine Feminine, he becomes a living, breathing muse, inspiring and supporting you to reach for the stars and achieve your wildest dreams. This role goes far beyond mere cheerleading. It's a profound commitment to nurturing your growth and helping you manifest your highest potential. Even when you doubt yourself, when the path seems unclear or the obstacles insurmountable, his faith in your abilities remains unshaken. He sees the greatness within you, sometimes long before you recognize it yourself. In moments of triumph, he's your biggest cheerleader, celebrating your victories as if they were his own but it's in the moments of doubt and setback that his role as your muse truly shines. When you feel like giving up, his unwavering belief in you becomes the spark that reignites your passion. He reminds you of your strength, your resilience, and the unique gifts you bring to the world. The Divine Masculine's role as your muse also involves deep, active listening. He doesn't just hear your words. He listens to the dreams whispered by your soul. He picks up on the passions that make your eyes light up, the ideas that keep you awake at night, and he finds ways 
to nurture these seeds of potential. Through his unwavering support and inspiration, the Divine Masculine helps you remember your own divinity. He sees you not just as you are, but as the goddess you are becoming. In his love, you find the courage to spread your wings, to trust in your own power, and to paint the masterpiece of your life with bold, vibrant strokes. When the Divine Masculine is deeply in love, he becomes an unshakable anchor, providing stability and support during life's most turbulent times. This is not just about being present during difficulties. It's about embodying a profound, unconditional love that grows stronger in the face of adversity. In your darkest moments, when the shadows of doubt, fear, or pain threaten to engulf you, his love shines like a beacon in the night. He doesn't shy away from your pain or try to fix you. Instead, he stands with you in the storm, offering his strength as a shelter, his presence as a reminder that you are not alone in your struggles. This anchoring presence is beautifully captured in the words of William Shakespeare, love is not love, which alters when it alteration finds. The Divine Masculine's love doesn't waver when you're at your lowest or most vulnerable. In fact, it's in these moments that his love often burns the brightest. He sees your struggles not as flaws or weaknesses, but as part of the beautiful, complex tapestry of who you are. In moments when you feel lost or disconnected from your true self, his love acts as a compass, gently guiding you back to your center. He reminds you of your strength, your beauty, and your inherent worth, especially when you struggle to see these qualities in yourself. Like a mirror reflecting your true essence, he helps you reconnect with your inner divinity even in your messiest, most vulnerable states. In his presence, you feel free to fall apart, knowing that you won't be judged or abandoned. He understands that sometimes breaking down is necessary for breaking through to new levels of growth and self-awareness. His unwavering presence teaches you about the true nature of love, that it's not just about the joyous, easy moments, but about showing up fully in all of life's experiences. Through his example, you learn that love can be a source of strength a catalyst for growth, and a balm for life's deepest wounds. Through his steadfast love and support, the Divine Masculine reminds you that you are never truly alone. In the darkest night, in the fiercest storm, his love remains a constant, grounding force. In his unwavering presence, you find the courage to face your shadows, embrace your light, and emerge from life's challenges, transformed and empowered. When the Divine Masculine is truly in love, he becomes a living, breathing mirror of infinite appreciation, reflecting back to you the beauty, strength, and divinity that he sees in every facet of your being. This is not mere flattery or superficial compliments. It's a profound recognition and celebration of your essence that goes beyond words and permeates every interaction. This appreciation is constant and all-encompassing. It's in the way his eyes light up when you enter a room. In the attentive way he listens to your thoughts and ideas, in the gentle touch that communicates volumes without a word. He notices and cherishes the little things, the sound of your laughter, the passion in your voice when you speak about something you love, the way you furrow your brow when you're deep in thought. In 
his eyes, every aspect of you is worthy of celebration. Your quirks become endearing. Your struggles become testament to your strength. Your imperfections become perfect in their own right. This constant appreciation becomes a nurturing force for your growth and self-love. In the reflection of his love, you begin to see yourself more clearly, to recognize your own worth and power. It's like watering a plant with love. Under his appreciative gaze, parts of yourself that may have been dormant begin to flourish and bloom. In a world that often focuses on lack and criticism, his unwavering appreciation becomes a balm for old wounds and a shield against new ones. It reminds you of your inherent worth, not based on external achievements or appearances, but on the simple fact of your existence. Through his appreciation, the Divine Masculine teaches you to appreciate yourself more fully. You learn to see yourself through his loving eyes, to recognize and celebrate your own divinity. This doesn't lead to ego or arrogance, but to a deep, grounded sense of self-love and self-worth that allows you to shine your light more brightly in the world. As we conclude this sacred exploration of divine love, remember that these qualities of the divine masculine are not external to you. They exist within your own heart, waiting to be awakened and expressed. Whether you identify as masculine, feminine, or somewhere in between, you have the power to embody these traits in your relationships and in your relationship with yourself. May you always remember your own divinity and may you both give and receive love in its purest, most transformative form. For in the end, it is love that weaves the fabric of the universe and it is through love that we find our way back to our true selves and to each other.